Hey guys, I wanted to share with you about this guy who commented in one of my YouTube video in the comment section. And his name is Magrand4426. He basically understand how Filipino culture works and he just want to share it to everybody. So I'm gonna read it for you what he says here. So he says, The Filipino culture are known to be hospitable and kind. He's correct. Anyway, here is the other side. The Filipino relatives think you are rich when you are living in the USA and even in Canada. He is also correct. Anyway, the reality is there are so much bills to be paid because of the high standards of living. The stress level is high and that is why people are sick. He is correct. Even with health insurance, it is expensive when you are sick. Anyway, thank you for your video so they will be aware to learn that living in abroad is not that easy. If you want to help someone in your family and there is saying teach them how to catch a fish and don't feed them all the time when they demand for financial. So Magrant is venting out of how he felt towards Filipino culture and he's also venting out of what is it like living here in the Western world. It is hard to live here in the Western world if you don't have a job. If you live here or if you end up relocating here in the Western world, you have to realize or you have to face that by coming here, there are many responsibilities that you have to take. But unfortunately, a lot of people from the third world country, especially from the people in the Philippines, do not understand what is it like living here in the Western world. As far as they know, once you go to the Western world, you are automatically rich. But they are wrong because the moment that you come here, you need to find a job right away in order to survive. But a lot of people in the third world country do not understand that once you move to the Western world, there are many big responsibilities that you have to take. Yes, it's true that we're making dollars here and if you convert that into your currency, you may think it's a lot. That is correct. It's a lot. But many people are not thinking that we have to live a life here at the same time. And a lot of people just assume that when they convert the dollar into their currency, they think that they are automatically rich here. And that is not true. And of course, a lot of people do not understand or choosing not to understand because they automatically think that the currency is higher here compared to their currency in their country. It's true that there are many good opportunities here in the Western world in terms of finding jobs. And if you compare the Western world versus your situation in the third world country, especially the Philippines, it's a completely different thing because Western world has more opportunity when it comes to jobs and um, the Philippines especially has less opportunity when it comes to jobs. But the unfortunate thing is a lot of people or families in the Philippines who have families in the Western world or if their daughter is married to a foreigner, they just automatically think that once you marry a foreigner or once you go abroad, you are automatically rich. That is not true. I've seen a lot of people in the Philippines who are disabled, people who are blind, people who don't have feet or legs. They are working so hard and making their own money and hard work for their own money. But a lot of people who are capable of working, who have complete body, they don't want to work because they think that they can just rely on their relative in the Western world. And at the same time, if we are the family who lives here in the Western world and currently supporting their family in the Philippines, how can they ever want to work and stand up on their own feet if you're stopping them from doing that? You're stopping them in a way that you're not teaching them to work on your feet because you're only supporting them. But you're not making them understand that the life here is so complicated or it can be a challenge if you're not working. And the only reason why we're capable of sending our money back to our family in the Philippines especially is because, because there's a lot of work opportunity here. A lot of Filipinos are taking advantage or killing their body to take all the job they can. But they're not thinking that they're slowly killing their body. 
by making themselves sick, by not sleeping properly because they have two, three jobs. Because a lot of Filipino care so much about the status back home. Oh, if I'm not going to send money to the Philippines or to my family, they're going to think that my family is poor. And I don't want them to think that way because we want the neighbors to think that we're rich and we have a lot of money. And this is the unfortunate thing about our brain is we don't think. We don't think carefully. And that's the reason why a lot of families back home think that you are rich here the moment that you land here. It's because part of that is our fault. Not necessarily the Filipinos who are, who are sending money to the Philippines. It's also the foreigners who are spoiling their wives by sending a lot of dollars after dollars after dollars. And for what? For the sake of love? That is not love. You're not giving them love and you're also not loving yourself. You're basically hurting yourselves and at the same time, you're hurting them without even realizing it. So when are we ever going to wake up from this kind of mentality?